Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this cubic equation by a simple technique and eventually we're going to check our answer as well. In our very first step, step number one, we want to identify our coefficients a, b, c and d by just comparing this given cubic equation with our standard form which you can see on the right hand side. By just comparing these one you can easily see that a turns out to be how much? a is 6, b equals to what? negative 5, c equals to negative 16 and d equals to 15. In step 2 I want you to add a plus b plus c plus d and see what happens. So what happens a is how much 6 plus b is negative 5 plus c is negative 16 plus d is 15. If you add them up their sum turns out to be how much 0. And in step 3, there's a very important kind of rule. This rule states that if a plus b plus c plus d turns out to be equal to 0, as in our case, then one of our solution will always be x equal to 1 or 1. So that means we are, our one of the solution is what? x equal to 1 always is going to be as long as their sum turns out to be zero. And in step four as you can see we will be using synthetic division to figure out other solutions. So let's go ahead and take care of the synthetic division. Okay let's go ahead I'm going to put down the numbers right up here, the coefficients are what? 6, negative 5, negative 16 and 15 right up here. 6, negative 5, negative 16 and what? 15. And as you know that our solution, one of the solution at x equal to 1 is going to come right up here at this place. So let's go ahead and just this 6 is going to be as it is 6 right up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this 1 times 6 and just put it right up here. So negative 5 and 6 if you add them up that's going to be what? It's going to be 1. Once again I want you to cross multiply 1 times 1 this one that's going to give you what? 1 times 1 is what? 1 negative 16 plus 1 is going to be negative 15 okay so once again we're going to multiply this 1 times negative 15 and what happens so that's going to 1 times negative 15 is negative 15 right up here 15 and negative 15 when you add them it's going to give you what 0 that is your remainder so so we ended up with these numbers 6, 1 and negative 15. So now this 6 is going to be with the x power 2. This is going to be with the x and this negative 15 is going to be without x which is called constant. So what we got right now. So we finally got 6x squared plus 1x minus 15 equal to what? zero. So what's going to happen right now up over here? We want to find the factors for this one. Can you figure out the factors for this one? That's going to be how much? The factor is going to be for sure is going to be what? 2x minus 3 and the other factor is going to be what? 3x plus 5 which is equal to what? 0. Alright. 
So since they are equal to zero, we're gonna split them up. So I'm gonna put down two x minus three equal to zero, and the other one is gonna be three x plus five equal to what? Zero. Let's go ahead and add three over here to get rid of this three. So if you add three on this side, what happens? This cancels out so you got 2x equal to 3 I want you to divide it by 2 so x turns out to be 3 over what 2 so one of our solution is x equal to 3 over 2 likewise on this side we're gonna do what we're gonna subtract 5 from this side so what happens? So this thing is gone. So we got 3x equal to negative 5. Now I want you to divide both sides by 3. So this, what happened? This 3 and 3, they are gone. So we got x equals to how much? Negative 5 over 3. So that's your another solution. Thus our complete solution set is going to be simply what? So first we had already a solution x equal to 1 in our previous step as you recall and then we're going to have what? We have what? 3 over what? 2 and finally we have a negative 5 over 3 is our solution set. And in finally, in our this step, we want to check our solution, our answer. So the very first thing what I want you to do is go ahead and whatever your solutions are, you just add them up. I'm going to put down 1 plus 3 over 2 plus negative 5 over 3 and ask yourself, is it equal to negative b over a and now you might be wondering what is negative b over a in our case a equals to 6 b equal to negative 5 c equals to negative 16 and d equals to 15 so minus b over a is going to be simply what negative and negative 5 over what 6 so negative and negative become positive 5 over what 6 so negative b over a turns out to be negative 5 over 6 so let's look at the left hand side which is what 1 could be written as 1 over 1 plus 3 over 2 minus isn't it negative 5 over 3 See, by just looking at the denominators, 1, 2, and 3, our least common denominator is what? 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these, this term by 6 on the top, 6 on the bottom. This by what? 3 and 3. And this one by what? 2 and 2. So that's going to give you what? 6 over 6 plus what 9 over 6 isn't it and this is negative 10 over 6 and again we know that what is supposed to be our minus b over a is what 5 over 6 question mark is it equal to 5 over 6 well right now our common denominator is 6 you just put it once so you just put down 6 plus 9 minus 10 is question equal to 5 over 6 and let's see on the top that turns out to be what 5 over 6 is it equal to 5 over 6 ask yourself yes both sides are equal to yes that means we checked our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos